Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our once again today's lesson. Uh, if you can remember very well, last uh, week we were talking about uh, telling time. On which telling time we were talking about uh, tenses. And uh, if I remember very well, last time we talked about uh, present continuous tense, of which I told you very well that present continuous tense is used to describe an action that is going on at the time the speaker is speaking. Of which we saw various types of sentences, for example, I am going to school, she is coming home, they are playing football, and many others, and many others. And I told you that it is very good for you to master the structure of constructing tenses in present continuous tense, which is subject plus am, or is, or are, plus present form of verb plus ing form. Boys and girls, today we are not going to learn about tenses again. We are going to uh, study our main competence here, learning and understanding English. Yes, learning and understanding English. Good for you and me to know how to study and understand and speak good English. So you must be able to, uh, to uh, read, write, and uh, do correct English. So today we are going to learn something on articles. So what is an article? An article is a word that is used before a noun to determine its number in singular. Most cases we are using articles before nouns. And uh, we don't use articles in, in proper noun. We are going to see how we use articles in various ways. So, like I've said before, articles are words that are used to describe or to introduce a noun for the first time in a sentence. So, we have two types of articles. So, when we talk about articles, we talk about types of articles. We have two types of articles. Number one, article, uh, definite article. In definite. Number two, definite. Yes, we have two types of articles, that is definite ad ad article and indefinite article. So, when we talk about indefinite article, what do we mean? When we talk about indefinite article, what do we mean? So, let us start with this one called indefinite article. What is an indefinite article? Indefinite article is a type of article that is used to introduce words which are starting with vowel or vowel sound. Words which are uh, starting with vowel or uh, with vowel sound. What are those vowels? Vowels are letters such as A, A, E, O, U. These letters, whenever we see them, uh, we see them with uh, our words starting this one, for example, apple. Apple, egg, ink, orange, uh, umbrella. Here we shall say an, an apple. Why are we saying an apple? Because we are mentioning the word apple for the first time. So because the word apple has not been uh, uh, defined for the first time, we are mentioning for the first time, we are saying an apple. Why do we say an egg? Because E is a vowel. So we say an, an egg, because the E is a vowel. Why do we say an ink? Because I is a vowel. So we say an, an ink. We say an, an orange. We say an, an umbrella. We say an umbrella. So when you're mentioning something for the first time, it is good for you to use article, depending to the first letter and the sound of that one. That starting that the sound of the word that is starting that uh, the sound of the letter is starting that word. For example, here uh, we have seen a is a vowel, e is a vowel, i is a vowel, o is a vowel, and o is also a vowel. Therefore, we say an egg, an ink, an orange, an umbrella, and many many others. Let us see those words which are not having a vowel letter, but they possess the sound of a vowel. For example. We have words 
was with vowel sound. Was with vowel sound, for example, we have words such as uh, engine, we have words such as uh, honest. Honest, uh, honorable. Uh, honor. So here, this H pro, uh, give the O sound. Oh, there is a silent O there. So say an and honest, an and honorable, an and honor. Okay. So when you say an honest person, he is an honest person. You say he is an honest person. So it's not good for you to come and say he is a honest. Why? Because this H is silent H, of which it is being pronounced as letter O. So we say he is an honest person. We can say he is an honorable. He is an honor. This is an honor. This is an honor. This is an Honor. Why are we saying an honor? Because H, like I've told you, is, as, is silent and therefore we don't mention the word H, instead we pronounce it as letter O. So we say an O. And when you say letter O here, you see that, that letter O is falling in vowel. So we say this is an honor. Let us see something written uh, on a uh, definite article. Definite articles. Definite articles is type of article that is used to introduce something that has already been mentioned. Something that has already been mentioned. Then this thing has already been mentioned with indefinite article. Now, when you want to talk about this thing for the second time, we are using definite article. What is this definite article? This definite article is just, uh, is just, it's just uh, there. It is just there. We use the word there in definite what? Article. There in definite article. So when you talk about there, there is used to introduce various type of things. Or we are going to use see the uses of there in a sentence. When are we supposed to use there? First, I'm saying that we are using there to introduce something that has already been mentioned. For example, this is this is a boy. This is a boy. When you want to talk again more about this boy, you introduce the word there. We put a put to say the boy. The boy is good. This is a boy. The boy is good. So it means that we are using there there to introduce to talk about something that had already been mentioned for the first time. When we say uh, this this is a toy. You say the toy, the toy is black. This is a toy, the toy is black. So when you talk about there for the first time, that number one, there is used to introduce things that has been mentioned for the first time. Let us see more uses of uh, there and other more articles. So you can see that we are using there when we are introducing uh, something for the second time. Number two uses of there. We are using there when we are talking about class of things. Number two, class of things. Class of things or classes of things. Classes of things, for example, we can say the black, the rich, the poor, uh -huh. we can say the rich, the poor, the wise, we can say the European, and many, many others. We are talking about the group of things, or class of things, we are using them. Number three, we are using them when we are talking about special creatures. 
special creatures. Special creatures. What are these special creatures? These are things that are not having any other alternative. For example, the sun. You say the sun. Number two, you can also say the earth. The earth, you can say the universe. The universe. You can say the universe and many, many others. What else do we use then? We are also using them when we are talking about number four, when we are talking about holy books. Holy books. For example, the Bible. The Bible, you can say the the Quran. You can say the Quran, you can say the Gita, the Biblia, and many, many others. We are also using them when we are talking about specific magazines. For example, the standard, you can say the Uhuru, the Wanaichi, and many, many others. Remember, I told you that in articles, we have two types of articles that is definite article and indefinite article. So far, I've just told you about definite article. We are just talking about definite article, that is uh, article, article uh, indefinite and definite what? Article. So when you talk about the, this one here, there are many, many uses of them, but those are some of the few ones that you are supposed to understand. Let us also revisit again something on an indefinite article. I talked about the use of article and, uh, remember that we need to talk about article A. When are we supposed to use article A under indefinite? Article. We are using article A uh, and indefinite article when we are talking about words which are starting with a, with a, a consonant sound or they start with a letter which is a consonant. For example, uh, indefinite article A. Uh. This one is used when we are talking about words which are uh, which are starting with a, a consonant or which are starting with a consonant sound. What are these words which are starting with a consonant sound? For example, when you talk about words such as a, uh, a boy, a book, a pen. These are obvious that they are starting with a consonant. For example, if you look at this letter here, letter B is a consonant. Letter B is a consonant. Letter B is a consonant. A, a pen. You can talk about a torch or a man. Letter N is also a consonant. Letter N is also a consonant. So when we are talking about uh, uh, consonant letters and letters such as B, P, M, Z, K, and many, many others. Then let us see, there are some cases that we don't have a consonant letter. Like if they have a vowel letters. For example, we have a vowel, a letter saying the vowel, but they take a, a, a article A. For example, we have letters such as uh, words such as university. University, you have the word union. You have the word uh, unit. This one is saying a university, a union, a unit. Why? Because this letter U is sounding like U. Not who, but you. So we say a university, a union, a unit, and many, many others. Up there, I think you've understood something on articles. I just want to give you some few questions on how to answer questions in articles. So you can attempt these questions yourself at home. So that later we shall see whether you have gotten them right or not. But remember that we have, we have two types of articles. That is article, definite article and indefinite article. Whereas the definite article, it is article there. While the indefinite article, we have article and and a. Ah. So can you boys and girls attempt these questions? Fill in by using
और है This is uh, number one, this is a boy, dash, boy is big. We should help. We should help poor. Number three, he is. A is dash girl. A is dash girl number four. Number four. That is dash university. University student. That is dash university student. Number five. I met I met thief I met thief that thief was was hiding was running I met thief that thief was running those five questions are enough for you to attempt. So later we shall check them in our next lesson. Thank you and keep on working hard at home.